welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I am Sarah, the teacher behind It's a Teacher's Life by Sarah O. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a virtual tour of my classroom office space here at home. Now, given the most recent circumstances, I know teachers have been called to work from home and it's been very difficult for many of us. Now, one of the things that's made it very easy is being able to find a place to call my virtual classroom and I have found it. It's in my dining area because unfortunately, I don't have an office space in my home. So the two items I'm gonna share with you are these two carts that are behind me and both of them are from Michael. To pop in before the tour starts, we have now started summer school. So I wanted to walk you through what my actual workspace looks like. This side is the living room, kitchen's over there. This is my dining area. So I'm using my table as my teaching spot. This is where I set up shop right here and I sit down. You'll notice the two carts that I'm gonna show you behind me. And one of the differences you'll notice is that in the last drawer, I just have my science materials since I was able to go pick them up. And then this cart, what I will do is pull it right over here because this is everything that I need. All my electronics and pens and all that is right there next to me. Um, that mess, this is all going to Goodwill, so don't mind the mess. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. And let's get started. For lighting purposes, I just moved everything over here to this wall. Thankfully, it's on wheels. It was super easy. I wanted to walk you through everything that I have on here that I used for virtual learning this past school year that I found super helpful. So I'm gonna start off with this makeshift uh, whiteboard that I made using three ring binders and sheet protectors. Some of them are anti-glare, so you can still see it no matter like the lighting, which is great. I use this to store blank sheets of paper for my whiteboards as well as anchor charts. And then I got this idea from Create and Educate. This is Desiree's idea. She uses Velcro and she can snap this Velcro piece off and on and store it away as a regular binder or set it up whenever she needs to. I ended up finding that this whiteboard was sliding off. So I put these two magnets, they're really sturdy and they just prop that binder up so it doesn't. Fall. I like to think of this kind of like my desk. So this would always be on top of my desk after everything was done, this is just my organizer, my calendar to help keep me organized and on top of anything that I have pending. Another thing I like about this cart is that it has this extension piece. It adds about a foot more of space and it holds about five, no, 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 it says two pounds. So I've never had to use it, but you definitely have that option of extending it if you need to. Moving on to the second shelf, I have yet another organizer. I love baskets for organization. This one is meant for the kitchen. I don't know exactly what it was for, but I decided it would work great for all my journals and binders. Um, I have my teacher planner in here. I actually have updated this resource and I'll put the link down below to my TPT store for the year 2021. I have my lesson plan um, journal as well that I prepared this summer for next year and um, stickers for my planner as well. And then next door, I still have room, and this is where I keep the makeshift binder that I have up top here. I'll close it up and just place it on top. This binder has confidential information, but I also use this for the classroom bingo. This is where I have my classroom management system. Still important during virtual learning. So now we're moving on to the last section of the cart, which are the drawers and hopefully in seeing this you'll know what it is that you might need or what you may not need depending on whether you're doing virtual learning for summer school or next year hopefully this will give you some ideas and some clarity about what you need to go get from your classroom if anything at all so the first drawer again more compartments more organizers i used everything that's in here these hooks magnetic hooks hook perfectly to both of the carts. So I use this to hang some buckets with sight words during virtual learning, came in handy. Um, lead, white out, scissors, definitely needed those. Um, I have discs galore because I sell planners, so I just wanna make sure that I have discs so I can showcase my planner. Um, this clicker I brought just in case. I didn't need it though. And then here are some rings. Paper clips galore of all sizes as well as binder clips. I used tons of sticky notes and then index cards back there which I used as well. 
and this drawer i think everyone has a catch-all this is my catch-all drawer i have the ah stuck i have the um bingo pieces here for the classroom management and like i said this is just kind of like the catch-all drawer wait yeah catch-all drawer <laughs> all right moving on this one has all of my extra whiteboards that i thought i would need and then i have my um what do you call this laminating sheets and then i have extra black expo ink markers because i have the cheap kind so i just want to make sure i always have one and i don't run out and then this is just an extra drawer that i didn't need for work purposes so i have here my um, cricut paper in this drawer i have my variety of paper including cardstock line paper and printing paper and these are the bigger ones so they definitely fit that stuff in here i have my growing collection of books that i have purchased over the summer either using my scholastic book points or just on amazon i've probably spent and all the books that i have here and i have tons and i'll go through them at a later date um i maybe have spent about maybe 20 out of pocket and i have tons of new books here everything else was purchased using using scholastic book points so i highly recommend that if you haven't signed up for that already i'm gonna move just because the sun is in and out so i'm hoping this lighting is okay anyway um so this is my three-tiered cart that i mostly use for small group supplies back in the classroom and now they just towed pretty much everything else that I need for virtual learning or virtual teaching. So the first tier has like all my go-tos, things that I would need at a moment's notice. This container I got from Target and it hold, it's magnetic and it holds marker, my marker and eraser. And then this container I got from Target over four years ago, I wanna say, and I've never been able to find another one, but I like that it has six compartments. So all my markers and pens, which I'm obsessed with, are all like in their own section. The next things that I have are just essentials like lip gloss, a hair tie, some more tools. This cart is also magnetic. So you can see these hooks that I showed you in the other cart that I have a few more of. Um, I used to hang my sight words up on this side. And then on this side, I have these little visual reminders for students to find what they need. So this worked really well for springtime. So I plan on using in the second car, I have all of my electronics back there in that container. I have all the cords that go to my devices. Um, this is the work Chromebook, my personal Surface tablet. This is my iPad and then the pens. So that's just the perfect little nook for all my electronics. And then down here, I have everything that's just bulky and ugly. <laughs> and it's my um, hole punchers as well as my a laminator this one is for the arc planner that's the three ring binder i mean the three ring hole puncher and that is it i hope you were inspired to create your own classroom space at home don't forget to add personal touches such as plants flowers or even picture frames it can really make a difference Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. I will also leave links to all my other social media accounts in the bottom bar below. You can also visit my website at www.itsateacherslife.com. I'll see you in the next one.